Hello, good evening. It's me, Ariza Gaming. How are you? It is Tuesday. The week is starting to ramp up. But I'm back with some more oxygen not included. Uh, we are finishing off Flipped Farters. Let's head on over. Uh, this is now stream 52. Uh, we just, on the last episode, on the last stream, we actually finished a monument over here. And we made it of uh, Lara. Uh, who was one of our first dupes, uh, who has since been renamed, um, what were they renamed again? Albert Fartstein, or Albert Fartstein. Why do I keep calling it Steen? It just sounds like a, a Steen, like a Fartstein. But uh, yes, Albert Fartstein gets a, a statue here with the sweepy. Um, so we did that. Uh, what else did we do? Um, we have mostly set up power over here. The only issue is I'm waiting for more metals to arrive so we can finish the, uh, the wiring for all of this. Because this asteroid is quite low on both ore and refined metal. So we're currently payloading that. And I think what I might actually need to do is increase the amount of rats we're generating here so that we can actually um, fire more payloads. I think it'll be worthwhile. We do have some spare wart seeds. I sent them all over here. Do the planet where we're trying to get everything to work. Um, we have five wart seeds over here, I believe. Currently in here, we have six wart seeds. So, I did want to put a wart seed, um, I did want to put a payload launcher here, but the actual radiation from space is quite high. Obviously, it's not as high as it is for the from the Wii's warts, but maybe we can get away with just sending these back. Although, obviously, we would need a payload launcher to do that. Or we could dump them in the rocket. I don't know. But, in other news, we have a Paku. We have we have a little Paku here that's eaten from the feeder. Um, they have eaten a little bit of algae. So, they should be they should still be getting fairly hungry. And then we also have a little Paku friend that's in here. Uh, so, when this guy... Uh, grows up and dies. This friend will come in and replace him. Then more eggs will get dropped in here as well. At a later stage. We've got about 8 Paku in here. Actually, we've got 13 Paku in here. Looks like all of these eggs hatch too. So that's good. Yes, the plan for Surf and Turf is starting to uh, come about. We haven't got any Paku fillet yet, but we'll get that fairly soon. But uh, I'm just going to speed it for a little bit. Uh, we made a gym for these guys. Uh, I need to find some more stuff for them to do while we're <laughs> while we're actually uh, waiting for all the metals to come in. So I think just for the sake of sanity, I'm going to clear this out because uh, we have plenty of rock. Let's make this with sedimentary rocket. Actually, let's make this with granite. Doesn't really matter what this is made out of. But we're going to start clearing all of this as well. Mostly because these guys aren't doing anything else at the moment and we're eventually going to want the resources. There is some metal tucked away in these little tiles. You guys are going to get quite wet, but that's a risk I'm willing to take. <laughs> so this could be your first little mini task for today. But the aim is very much to get the rest of our power online and get the arcade cabinet and stuff plugged in. That should happen fairly soon. It just depends on when these deliveries come in. Now, I don't really want to expose this, because this is going to be a, a really big source of um, uranium. And there's no heat leak, as far as I can tell. There is a little bit of a heat leak over here. So perhaps what I do... Oh yeah, this is a massive heat leak. Right, so what I need to do is I need to insulate this bit. So I think what we're actually going to do is we're just going to tunnel straight through here. Just come straight down here. 
Because you guys literally don't have anything better to do. Um, and we'll just... Oh, right. <laughs> Running out of fire pole resources. That'll do. Just fire pole directly onto the saltwater geyser. That, that seems fair. Uh, is that the right level? Yes. It's just confusing because this, this level is one lower than it should be. So you can dig this. Get this ladder going here as well. Yeah, we'll just get this area excavated. Um, I will need to separate this off again because this is what this is the base area. Or at least that was the intention. Whether we actually get around to filling that base at this point, I don't know, but we'll see. Who is suffocating? You are suffocating. How did you end up over here? Were you just killing dupes right off the bat? Uh, it's quite possible. Uh, let's see. So you need to walk through there. You then need to dig this and then walk up here and out. Yeah, you're suffocating too. Oh. Wow, have I literally just killed these dupes immediately? That's not a very good start, is it? Um... Yeah, there really isn't any oxygen down here. Oh god. Not natural gas included. <laughs> You're looking very happy for someone who's about to die. Oh god. Yeah, you're gonna have to deconstruct these and just immediately leg it. Yeah. Screaming is the right response. Okay, so you can get up there. Uh, no. You need to stop doing that. You need to deconstruct these immediately. You're the one who's actually more likely to die. Because you've got to run all the way down here. <laughs> oh god. Right. This is why you don't just queue up errands and expect them to get on with it. It's like the number one cause of deep death. Well, no one died today, yet. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to fire pole down to here. And then this insulation... Uh, do something over here. Speed one up a little bit. I should make a way for us to get to all of this uranium. Because we are going to want it for a nuclear plant. This is not a waste of time. I need to make sure that what I'm doing now is not a waste of time. Because our time here is limited. So, in terms of my plan for the week. I don't normally stream on Wednesdays. I'm going to try and stream on Wednesday. Because, uh, I think I'm going to run out of time otherwise. We get this nuclear plant built. Yeah, you guys can do that. That's okay. You can deconstruct these. Plastic do we have? We have a little bit of plastic. Probably worth actually just making this ladder plastic. So how far is this actually going to go down here? I don't know. Okay. I'll make this ladder plastic. That seems worth it. I need to put a fire pole here as well. So let's deconstruct this because no one's using this anymore. This pipe hasn't worked for ages, but hypothetically, uh, we'll get it to work again by doing this. And then we'll make a fire pole going here as well.
yeah, this is all still sealed in at the moment. I'll uh, I'll tidy this up later. For now, this can just come down here like this. What priority is all of that? Yeah, let's make that priority nine. Let's make this priority nine. Let's make this priority nine. Yeah, you can finish this as well. Yeah, more payloads of gold are arriving. They're all landing here. People are people are dealing with them. People are fleeing poke shells. Right, let's murder this poke shell. We're not we're not dealing with any uh, funny business today. We're gonna we're gonna deal with these guys. One day we'll do something with poke shells, but today is not that day. Let's speed to it again. So the plan will be ladders. These can go over this way. Leave this abyssal light wall here for now. I am just going to turn this sensor off because. <laughs> Um, puffs. Looks like uh, the dense puffs die. They didn't get enough oxygen. Oh no, they're all in this one tile. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. This gave me a bit of a spook. Uh, but I'm gonna turn this sensor off because I don't really care. What is actually happening with it? This is going on. Oh, this one keeps going on. I'm gonna set this to 1000. There you go. Yeah, they can dig this, let all this salt water through down here. <laughs> we have a shine bug. I want to grab all this metal over here as well. That's part of the plan. But uh, I think what we'll do is we'll put the insulation here. So actually what, what we can do is... I mean, I'm going to leave this here for now just so we can dig it out. Without suits. Uh, but this can go here. And then we'll do something with this as well. Like, perhaps what we'll do is... Put a little pump bit here. And we'll just insulate this. It's fine. And then that could be the actual bottom of the base. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Was, I want to clear out all of this stuff so I can just see how much space we really have to play with and to grab all these resources. While the dupes have a free moment, while we're waiting for this metal to come in from the other planets. So let's speed up again. I don't like speeding up too much, but at the moment the constraint is the metal coming in from the other planets and not the dupes doing stuff efficiently. So I could even speed through it if I really wanted. I'm going to speed through it. Why not? I don't speed through it very often. Uh, let us take this. I mean, if we didn't kill anyone at the start of the stream, I don't think we're going to kill anyone now, right? Hello. Thank you, game. Then for now, I guess 
you can insulate this. That saves us building the wall down here for now. This is the pod. Hopefully another dupe. We've got 39 dupes. We could do the 40th. Uh, no farters. We did get some methyl. That's good. Let's uh, print that off on a Tommy Animal. Good. Now we just continue to speed up. We continue the fire pole here, that's fine. Uh, something else I could do is I can <laughs> I could drywall the Draco branches. Uh, let us do that. Uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do here. We haven't earned any new things in a while. You know what? We're going to use these little blue circles. But I'm going to set this to priority one. There you go. So only do this if you get really bored. The nice thing about doing these rooms is that the auto sweepers tend to grab any granite that's left in here. Although I did clear the room of granite, so they're not really doing very much of that. There you go. And we'll do the same down here, I think. There's no... There's no white corner. Is there? That would be a pretty good wallpaper. Maybe maybe there is a wallpaper like that where it's just black and then you, you can do a white circle. I'll just do the same thing down here. And then I'll do the same thing for the, the gym as well and we'll put some paintings in the gym because the dupes are going to be spending a lot of time in there if they run out of other things to do, so... Worth decoring that room. Oh, but man, it's been a day. Um, I've been working from home, which is good. I like working from home. Um, I had a big report that I needed to write. I did make some good progress on it, but it's, it's just time consuming. All the information for this report is in like a million different drawings and none of the references make any sense. I managed to decode it all, but it's like, it's like they literally picked a random number generator when deciding which drawings corresponded to which pipe supports, etc. It must have been in the order in which they were installed. It must have been like a piecemeal job. Or like the design was done in several phases. Oh, hold on, who's suffocating? No one's allowed to suffocate today. Two by five. Uh, you can get out of here by building this. So, oh, whoops. You just needed to build that. Uh, what about this? So that could be yellow alert. We're going to have a few people suffocating while they're working in this CO2 zone. This is like confined space training rules number one. Don't do a load of work in a CO2 pit when you can't breathe. Um, because if you lose access, you will die. I mean, it's not like we have a shortage of oxygen. We just have an overabundance of carbon dioxide. In fact, because we're doing all this digging, the carbon dioxide is actually getting pushed down. Perhaps I should seal this bit off. No. I want this bit to fill with carbon dioxide. I don't want this bit to fill with carbon dioxide. I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it too much at the moment. I just want to clear the space. I want to clear the space, get this insulated, dig up these plants.
this ice is hopefully going to melt with all these construction works. But dumping all this hot water in the ice should help melt that. And then we can dig this as well. This is over pressure at the moment, so this water is a reasonable temperature. Yeah, you can come in here and dig this too. And in fact, what I'm going to do... I'm going to build a ladder over here. I'm going to come grab all of this metal as well. Because we really just don't want to run out of metal. And then maybe I'll just do a ladder into here. Um... I've been sneezing all day. I think I forgot to take my antihistamine this morning, but I can't remember whether I forgot. Which means I probably didn't, but I'm not going to risk taking another one. We'll be fine. Well, I think what I'm going to do is... You could just melt this ice. I don't really want to dig the ice up. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just... I could just do this. It's most of the stuff. And then we can keep the rest of this nice and cool. Make sure we don't burn any bridges with the bees. Why am I building all of this out of sedimentary? Oh, I actually ran out of igneous rock. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, sedimentary rock. Well, I mean, it's insulated tile. It's not really going to matter what it's made of. It's a bit concerning we've run out of igneous rock. Oh, look at the little poke shell couple. That's adorable. I like a little couple. So, this can be nine. This can be five. I think that's fair enough. And then digging-wise, we're going to prioritize this right away. Because we're going to want to make sure the salt water is going somewhere. And I'll figure out exactly what we're going to do with it once we've uh, sorted this out. Looks like all this ice is melting. And pushing itself out of here. Oh my god, these stupid water weeds. Okay. We're just going to dig that. Literally my least favourite plant. I don't think we're going to even grow a single lettuce in here because odds are someone's going to fart on one of these before uh, it actually grows and I'm not going to bother re <laughs> redoing one again. Also, let's uh, continue doing this while we're waiting for that. Uh, these doors. You know, let's put some paintings in here. You know what, I'm just going to make these, let's see. Sadly, no copper. I'm just going to make these regular paintings. There you go, that'll do. And then, I guess, if I'm going to tile the room, I'll tile this room. Since the tile this room as well. Right, the metal is coming in, so that's good.
yeah, you guys might as well get this st stuff done first, and then we'll uh, then we'll go over and uh, finish off the metalwork stuff. Actually, I guess I could plan it out quickly. So, let's see. So what I want to do is I want to take the hydrogen from down here. This is going to be slightly annoying. Let's put this on priority one for now, and then I'll up it later. So this hydrogen is going to go... You know what, let's take it this way. And then we'll make some bridges here. There we go. Uh, you can build those bridges immediately. Then this one can come... You know what, let's let's uh, be a little bit smart. Let's feature-proof this a little bit. So this one can go over here. I don't really mind what happens to these storage bins. You can remove these. So, let's see. Generators. This one can come down here. I don't, why, I don't know why I built it like this. I think I just wasn't planning it very thoroughly. So that can come over there. These bridges can get done immediately. Yeah, we've got lots of metal now. That's good. Oh, no, we're not going to have them face that way. That's gross. Yeah, face that way. And then this can go here. And then the second one can come... You know what, priority nine this as well, so that I don't forget about it. Beesh. How are you doing? You're already down to 40% wildness, so you've been eating from this pretty regularly. That's good. Good fish. actually uh, drained this coolant pretty effectively. I think it's mostly because we were filling up this massive pipe. But that's fine. That's not a problem. We disconnected that, that's okay. Uh, so then this wire needs to go over here, I think. Priority two. That's some music. Uh, so then what I'll need to do is I'll need to disconnect this. So I'll remember to do that. Then I can go over here. This can be priority nine bridge. Then that way I can go this way with a very small amount of forward planning. And then that can connect up here. And I think I'm going to be lazy and just literally do it like this. <laughs> there we go. And then you can deconstruct that. And then we need the consumer spines for these. These will each consume 2 kilowatts. So this is consumer number one. I'm going to have to reroute some of these. 
So this is the first one that we're going to plug into. Spawn. This is the main base one. I could probably take the main base one and shove it somewhere else. Because I think it makes sense with the this one. This one's going to the arcade cabinet. I just need to hook more of these up. That's what I need to do. But how about, let us take this one here. I'm going to put this on priority nine. This one can go over here. And then this can actually hook up onto the transit and the tubes. Yeah, you can build that one right away. Speed to it again. Make sure this uh, high priority stuff gets done over here. Oh, you need to do this as well. Looks like you're digging up more igneous rock at least, which is good. <laughs> Bubbles on the way. Yeah, it's a good thing we've cooled all this metal, otherwise it'd be really hot over here, but um, yeah, all the metal is nice and cool. So that's good. Yeah, yeah, today's gonna be a high-speed day. Ish. I definitely can't stay up too late because I need to get I need to get to work at seven tomorrow because I've got a lot of stuff to do. Right, okay. So that could be disconnected there. That's good. So now that means I've got this consumer and this consumer. I can hook up to the electrolyzer. I think let's just get it hooked up first, and then we can shuffle the wires around a bit, maybe. So, let's build the rest of this out of iron. Go here. And then I'm just going to bring this wire down here. And then that can just plug straight in there. And then this one. Now, I should be aware that I'm putting the nuclear plant here. That's where the idea was. So let's not fill that area with wire. Let's bring this wire down here. And then that can go over here. And then that one can plug in here. And then I can deconstruct this. So I think I'm gonna I think what I'm gonna do just for my own sanity is I'm gonna disconnect this and I'm gonna disconnect this. Disconnect this, disconnect this. Get this all actually just built. So I understand what's going on. We'll priority nine this. And we have a fair amount of oxygen stored up in the base, so I don't think it's going to be a huge issue. And then the last thing, so right, let's see. Yeah, priority nine. All of this. Let's unpause it, right, okay. So these two here are going to be the electrolyzer ones. 
Right, okay, so consumer lines we don't need to worry about. The producer lines are the ones we're going to put the smart batteries on. And that's already done. We already planned that. So then the last thing we need to do is actually put the automation wire. Which will be... We can make this up. Oh yeah, we already built the automation wire. Okay, that's neat. So now I can just sever these batteries. Because we're not actually going to use these. And then you guys can deconstruct this later. Right, so you guys need to get on this immediately. I don't think you're going to do anything else here. Tip is having fun. Let's speed to it. Have these guys finish off this so that we uh, <laughs> don't lose oxygen access. That would not be ideal. Also, actually, while we're doing this, we were planning on making a monument on Neutraloni as well. We're going to put a monument here by the, uh, the puffs. And the uh, chlorine vent. <laughs> um, I never did insulate this, did I? That would be a good idea. Go ahead and do this. Now, this conveyor as well. So this one's going down here. It's going over here, and that should be the slime line. I don't think I ever turned that on. So let's turn on the slime line. The atmospheric pressure is high enough here that it won't off-gas. So that should be fine. I should have turned that on ages ago. Yeah, here you go. Load some slime. <laughs> we have 15 tons of slime. So we'll go into the gas overlay, and you'll see that even though the slime is on the conveyor... Well, actually, actually at the moment, the slime is running <laughs> through the tile. Very conspicuously. But when it comes out here, it shouldn't off-gas. I don't think it will anyways. Let's see. Uh, okay, maybe it is off-gassing. Maybe just a little bit. <laughs> okay, that's good to know. Uh, so, the slime will off-gas a tiny bit running through this conveyor when it's not running through tiles. However, we did have some common sense, and we mostly ran it through tiles. So I think that's an acceptable loss. That's fine. Maybe I'll put a deodorizer over here or something. I don't know, we'll see where that ends up settling. Yeah, that slime can come up here, and then these guys can actually get fertilized. And then this shouldn't get... This shouldn't off gas here. Because the, the mushrooms aren't consuming any of the carbon dioxide. And the pressure is too high for it to off gas. So that's good. Okay. So another one of these is oxalite and the other is from bleepstone. <sighs> we haven't done anything with bleepstone yet. I definitely don't want to geotune this. We could geotune a geyser. The only thing is, I think the only geyser I would even really want to geotune over here is this, and that doesn't seem very <laughs> that doesn't seem very good. I mean, the funny thing is, we could geotune the chlorine vent, but I mean that takes something different. So, not really much point in doing that. And there aren't really any other vents here. There's a natural gas vent. We have loads of natural gas. 
Actually, this does seem to be most of our power. We could use more natural gas. Nah, now I'm getting distracted again. Uh, but let's build the monument bit at least. So deconstruct this. You guys have sealed yourself in here. Good job. Uh, so that this can go here. Go there. And then furniture-wise. Yeah, we can build a few things now. So this can go here. And then this, we can also build it. But <laughs> must be overlapping a monument middle. Now that's a, now that's a uh, tooltip right there. So this is clearly going to be a puff themed uh, monument. Although we do have the grub grubs as well. What's going on with these? They're out of dirt. I think I need to, I think I need to import more dirt again. I think we send it all back here. Here you go. I never did set up pit branches everywhere. I definitely would if we were doing a longer run, but I don't think I don't think I'm gonna bother at this point. Right, uh, you can finish this off here. Just dig this out. I mean, this isn't super hot, but like hot enough that I probably should be responsible. Funny how we never did anything over here with this big hot lump of uh, obsidian. Right, how's this going? Did you finish this wire yet? No, you're still trying. I'm going to watch you with speed one for a bit. You guys are more efficient on speed one. Whiskers, what are you up to? Fish update. Fish update. Whiskers is a... Ooh! Whiskers just found something to eat. I think I might... <laughs> I think I might have been a baby... Uh, a baby Paku. No, not a baby Paku. <laughs> a baby... Uh, Flatty. Yeah, you know if it was a baby Paku. Paku would be quite a bit bigger. But uh, it's the first time I think I've actually seen that happen. Rip the fry. Do I still have the fry boat? I do. There we go. Rip the fry. Ah yes, the daily uh daily reload. Speed up again. Nails, you definitely need to prioritize going to the gym. Or perhaps getting a, a, a suitable qualification. You're trying your best. Yeah, hydrogen amount in here is staying pretty stable. All of the other gases seem to have settled towards the, the bottom. And it looks like they are actually coming in here and grabbing all the uranium, so that's good. Although you're going to get too hot if you're up here. I mean, you guys seem to spawn frequently enough that that's not an issue. Right, what are we going to print? What have we got? Give me another dupe. Yeah, we got another dupe. <laughs> we have a Rowan. Um, flatulent, gastrophobic, rocketry and farming with aesthetic design. That's not, that's not overly helpful. But you are a dupe nonetheless, so we will go and print you. Go print you here. We don't actually have any farms for you to deal with except for these mealwoods. Rip. 
There you go. Everyone welcome Rowan. So you can just have... I'm going to skill you guys up as well because you're on this planet while we're here. You can have farming. There you go. And then you can prioritize... Farming. And then I guess I'll, I'll put you on the, uh, the red schedule A. That being said, you guys aren't really going into space anymore. So I could probably move you all off the red schedule. But I'm going to keep you on him for now. Actually, I probably would make you more efficient if I just moved you all off. Uh... I'm just going to make a C schedule and put everyone on it. We'll split everyone off into the rad schedules again if need be. Um, but that one will just... Let's see. I think I'm just going to copy B schedule and we're just going to have only the dupes on this planet be on it. So that way I can remember to switch them back here you go so no extra bath time for you and then everyone who's on a Tommy L can go here and hopefully that will make you guys a little bit more productive okay. and then when you go back into space we'll move you back I must say, this is the most schedule management I've ever done in this game. Getting a lot of dupes here now. This is number 17. So the plan is to move 13 more dupes. We got a fish. How how the heck did you get up here? What happened? <laughs> um Did an egg end up going the wrong way? You poor sod. How did you end up here? I mean, the conveyor belt for the eggs. Uh, you never built this. Ah, that's an issue. Let us deconstruct this. And then you can rebuild that. You have trapped yourself. You not dig. You're skilled in hard digging. Someone else doing this one, then. No. Well, uh, you're gonna have to do that. It's not really optional. And you're gonna have to dig this one out, too. Good thing I remembered. Oh, yeah, now you can just get out of here. Yeah, don't worry about that. That is fine. Right, did you guys finish the wiring for all of this stuff? I think you did. So, as far as I could tell, I already set all of this up. So we can actually just deconstruct this now. I'm going to leave those wires there. Just in case we need them in the future. But these ones we can remove. And we can use the metal for something else. So now we've unplugged our spawn. So now the excess production, like that, the power is being managed by our big transformer spine instead of um, everything else. And that means we can. That means we can prioritize that with the smart batteries on the spine here. That's why we've done this. And let's remove this as well, because we're not going to have this here. 
Hey Neo, how you doing? <laughs> I like I like the little tentacle. Is it supposed to be Whiskers' body? It's quite creative. I like the squid emotes. Yes. Uh, we were waiting for Metal to arrive. Metal has arrived. We plugged in a few more things over here. I'm going to keep working on that wiring. I'm also getting the dupes to slowly excavate the rest of this planet just to grab all the resources. Just to make sure that we've got all the metal ore that we can find, really. I could do something similar over here as well. Yeah, let's do that. And dig all of this out. We got Paku! <laughs> we got Paku! So we, we have an adult here now. We have a we have a they're still wild, uh, because they're still eating from the feeder, but they're hungry all the time. The good old auto sweeper algae is working pretty well. And then once this guy's tame, we'll start feeding him seeds. And then we have another fish in here. The rest of these guys are down here. And soon we'll have surf and turf. And I don't know how, but we ended up with a fish up here. That's okay. So let's see, what are you guys doing now? I think you're on break at the moment. Uh, but yes, let's continue the uh, Neutraloni uh, monument as well. I am aiming to build a monument on every planet to assert our dominance. Uh, and we have the resources. We have the technology. Uh, I <laughs> I continue to uh, screw up the ladder. We're going to continue to insulate this chlorine vent a little bit. Or layers. Well, the first one is a layer. The first one is a monument to Albert Fartstein uh, and Sweepy, who has been the most helpful Sweepy we've ever had. Very helpful grabbing the wild crystal blossoms. And I, I, I don't know why I shoved it here. Right? <laughs> I just thought that was a good spot for it. I was going to put it here, and then I forgot how tall the monuments are. Uh, so it's here instead. Yeah, they really are huge. Ooh, you know what I could have done? I could have put it in the magma. <laughs> well, I could have put it next to the magma. That would have taken ages, though. Yeah, I don't really need to insulate this, but we're going to insulate this. I don't really want to come back in here, so... replace these. Hmm, actually, you know what? Instead of doing that, let's just replace these. And we'll remove these over time. But what I really want you to do is this. Although I must admit that red and white wallpaper hammers hard in the eyeballs. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I like the uh, I like the candy cane look, but it is very visually arresting. <laughs> but we haven't done anything over here in a while, so next time we'll go for a slightly less uh, slightly less triggering uh, background. Oh, I'm glad just I'm glad just Jack is streaming again. Screaming and screaming. Well, they're doing well. And I'm glad that I can um, I can subscribe and get access to those emotes again. Hmm. Right, let us actually... So the whole purpose of this was to plug this in. So let's actually plug this in. So we've got a consumer bit up here, which is available. So let's come in here. We can make this one out of gold again. That one can come down here. Yeah, and then we can actually just take this wire out here for now. Uh, we're going to need to dig through this. You know what? Just come in here, seal this. 
seal this up. I don't really care anymore about this. Yeah, Friday night that, and then we'll uh, dig this out as well. Yeah, I want all this metal. You know, in retrospect, what I should have actually done... Did I build that transformer forward? Transformer for the sole purpose of plugging in the juicer, that's dedication. <laughs> uh, not exactly, but um... No, the juicer is not the one. The juicer is plugged into the main base because it only uses 120 watts. But it's mostly for the arcade cabinet and the jukebox. And really, it's mostly for the nuclear plant that we're going to be building here. And <laughs> this wire here, I'm going to need to move. Um, that is the... That is going to the arcade cabinet at the moment. I do not want this running through this area because this is where we're going to have nuclear stuff. So that can come down here. don't know exactly where it's going to go, but it's not going to go there. Um, we don't want a wire bridge going through here. I don't think it's that relevant, but... If you put a wire bridge going between two bits of insulated wall, it will transfer heat. So you generally don't want to do that. Uh, let's make all of this party 8 so they do the bridge first. We'll do this first. And then that can go through here. And then... And go like that. Uh, and then what we'll do is... <laughs> then what we'll do is we'll build another wire going along here. That will go... In here. this bridge and then that can come through here and we'll make ladders there as well and then this can be this wire could be removed because I don't want it to go that way Although, you don't have to remove this one. And that will just plug in here. Hello, game. Yeah, there you go, that'll do. And then, what we're gonna do is we're going to have like four different producer bits we can stick steam turbines on for the nuclear plant and then we'll have four different producer bits that we can use for power consumers and I'm not 100% sure what that will be but it will be something that consumes a lot of power <laughs> maybe maybe a load of wind tunnels that sounds amusing that would certainly help with the morale but you do need to finish that wire because that's the base wire that you've disconnected at the moment I'm sure you'll do the Friday night thing once. Ten arcade cabinets. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Massive hall of arcades. 120 juices. I think that I think the ingredient maths might be a little bit off on that one. We have got bristleberrium and mushroom coming in from Neutraloni though. So we can run this for a while. Looks like we're out of meal ice. Oh, we're out of meal ice! Cause yeah, because the Draco's reaching it all now. Fun, fun, fun. Um, where should I put that then? Uh, you know what? We're not doing anything up here at the moment. We don't need that many meal ice for, for this, do we? Let's just put like... Really? St stupid weeds. Get out of here. We'll just put some mealwoods here for now. We can deconstruct this. 
Oh, we'll need to uh, build this ladder as well. There you go. Alright, did you uh, rebuild that wire? You did. Good. It's a bit more of a sensible spot for the base wire. Right, and while you guys are doing that, we're going to continue working on the neutral only movement. There we go. Thumbs up. Good job. Uh, right, what's the last thing we need? We need... It's always fussy. We need glass. We need diamond, which we have. We need steel, which we have. So we just need to make the glass. So we need to make about 2,000 kilograms worth of glass. About 80 lots of this. You know what? I'm just going to set you to infinite. Dump all the glass down here. And slowly boiling all this water with this glass. Not really. It's fine. Looks like uh, we had some oil leak out here. That's not a problem. Yeah, that's fine. The slime is actually being delivered. Looks like the slime has all ended up over here. Uh, we should not have any polluted oxygen. We don't have too much. We've ended up with quite a bit down here because of slime off-gassing on route. Um, so methinks the solution to that is we just put a couple of... I don't mind a little bit of it off-gassing. Oh, I was going to put some airflow tiles here, but that's not going to work. I mean, deodorizers. You know what? I don't even care. <laughs> it's fine. Not a problem. These mealwoods are still too hot. The Drekos all died over here. The Drekos are all dead. There's, there's like a couple. They're still trying to cool this water down. It's not quite getting there. We had this um, cooling loop trying to cool this water too much, so we've set it back to 95C. So that should get back to temperature. It's going to take some time. I mean, if I really wanted... I mean, now we're not going to do it, obviously, because we put the mushrooms here, but I could just... Now that we've got the puffs for the bleach stone, we could just geotune this and put a steam turbine on it. But, uh, we've made our choice. <laughs> I'm not moving this. So, uh, we'll just, we'll just suffer instead. Right, how is it going? You've still got all this wire to build. Let's speed to it again. I want you to plug in the stuff. We've still got the nature reserve here. I think it's probably actually time to go pick up some more dupes. Because we'll have a lot of extra morale coming in soon. Are there any other buildings we can actually build over here? We build an espresso machine. I don't want to build a beach chair. Beach chairs suck. We don't actually have any steam at the moment. We could do a sauna on a hot tub room later. I think I'm just going to put in... Um... I think I'm actually just going to put in another soda fountain. And maybe even just another juicer. No, that won't even fit. Feels bad. I'll put in the espresso machine. I can go there. That's that's mildly upsetting. I mean, these consume water, so I think it makes sense to put these here. And then power-wise, I can hook those onto this wire. We planned it out. These are both 480 watts. I think this is 480 watts? Yeah. So that should be 2 kilowatts total, or 1.92 kilowatts total on this line. And then we just need some pitch pepper nuts. We should, uh, should actually grow some pitch pepper nuts somewhere. We don't have any polluted water on this planet. We don't actually have many sources of polluted water in general. We don't have any polluted water geysers. We still have a load of polluted water down here.
We have excess polluted water here because of the natural gas, but we haven't been running this for power. So this hasn't been doing anything. It would be very easy for me to make... Um... Whoa, we've had a massive uh, heat leak out of here for ages. Did I just never do anything about this? That's hilarious. Yeah, this is a bit like it's been leaking heat for eons. Yeah, this is all frozen over. I think this used to be... I think this used to be magma. Right. Um... Well, I guess I can go here. A bit late now. Um... Ugh. Yeah, we want to grow some pinch of pepper, though. I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to... I'm just going to carbon skim this, and we're going to heat it up. Or just grow it here. Because it's not like we're really doing that much else. Oh, where would I put that? So it does need to be 35 degrees. Have a drop there. So we have water coming out of here. Perhaps what we do is take uh, excess hot water from this and run it through a carbon skimmer and then put the pinch of pepper nuts down here. I think that makes sense. So, let's see. We we'll want, we'll want to make sure the plant can grow comfortably, so let's actually heat seal it. We've got loads of room down here, I'm just going to use this spot here. So, good use of my time. Still a bit low on... What are you doing? Why are you suffocating? Yeah, you just need to dig this. Then you need to dig this. And then you'll be alright. This is what happens when you dig stuff before you build it. You know what, game? I don't think the Drekos are as important as the suffocating dupe. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> there you go. We've got a long climb up. This should definitely be a plastic ladder. That's alright. You've done a pretty good job digging through all of this. I do still want you to come in here and dig this. Uh, so let's actually... Let's actually bring this down here. And then at least we can get to the... bottom. And then we can dig this all up. This hexen has been here for ages. Yeah, grab all that. And then you can deconstruct this tile as well. What is going on over here? Definitely remove these ladders. But yeah, we'll make this pinch of pepper nut farm today because I want to run this coffee machine as well. And then we'll have all our. Then we'll have most of our recreational buildings online, and then we'll we'll actually start sending over all the dupes. You 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 are getting murdered. Stop planting. Stop planting here. You filled your purpose, and then for some reason you guys didn't end up planting in here. So you can you can die. There you go. Die. I think what I might do as well is I might shuffle this around a little bit. I'm going to make some lips so the carbon dioxide builds up in these rooms. Because otherwise these plants are going to stifle occasionally and I do want them to, to work. Yep, 
Yay, team, team guy. Woo, team Paku. So now you're going to lay loads of eggs. So now we can load this with seeds. And what seeds do we want to feed him? Probably just mealwoods. We're going to grow some extra mealwoods for the juicer anyways. So let's just sit and feed him mealwood seeds. So drop the algae. Put the mealwood seed in. And then this can be set to priority 8. <laughs> Charles beat the auto sweeper. Good job. Okay, let's set these to 2 and 1. There you go. So now the auto sweeper should catch it most of the time, instead of the douche. We should end up with some surf and turf eventually. Let's, let's uproot this. Let's put them here. Oh, we still have a honey jar we need to move. Am I putting pedestals anywhere? Put it somewhere. I'm gonna put it here. We do come and grab this occasionally. You're doing it right now. I'll put the honey pot here. Also, what is the situation over here? <laughs> oh my god, look, the pup, they're trying their best to be the head, but they haven't quite succeeded. Uh, let's see. We still need the glass that's uh, still being produced. That's going to take ages. How much sand do we have? Have we used up all the sand? No, we've got 100 tons of sand. Why do sweepies not have nice artifacts on their head? I know. Shame. So let us. I'm not even going to bother moving these. We'll just. Uh... You know what? Let's put some nice windows here. All the extra diamond we have. I don't use these window tiles enough. I should make these window tiles. That's what I should do. It's a bit late now, but I should remember to actually do that. And then deconstruct. I'll make a few more over here as well. Just in case we get any more seeds. Bingo. So this could be priority nine. Then I want you to clean up this area as well. Because this is where we're going to put the pinch pepper. Yeah, pop the drums. Great, good job. Who's trapped? Someone's trapped. You guys are trapped. You'll be alright. You'll be alright. You just need to prioritize this one first. Yeah, there you go. We have a large amount of salt water here. It's good. You uh, still can't get out. Can you? No, you need to build. You need to build this now. There you go. Yeah, now you can escape. Good job.
You made a mess. Yeah, that checks out. The fish. The fish gets to swim. First aquarium. It's gonna flop over to the polluted water now. You know what? We're just gonna eat you, and we're gonna we're gonna have our first surf and turf. Let's make it so that they don't eat. Okay. I asked for blue water. Yeah, ask and you shall receive. Yeah, no one eat Pack and Philip, please. I desperately need to get the the mod for making this menu less laggy. I have done the thing where I set all the dupes on the same schedule again, so now they're all sleeping again. In the bunk where you can't actually see what's going on. So now the cum doctor should build up in here. The natural gas should just float off down here somewhere. There you go. Have fun. Maybe eventually we'll end up with this many oxy ferns. And then you can remove these, because we'll want that rock somewhere else. Did... I've never... We'll remove these ones for now. I never actually finished this off. Whatever. So you guys need to finish this as well. Also, I need to stop making ladders out of igneous rock. I, I think that's probably part of the problem as to why we run out of igneous rock. Always make it out of granite. Because A, decor... B, you want igneous rock for other stuff. Flooding? Oh yeah, that farm station's gonna be flooded the whole time. Don't really care. Well, you know what, I'm just gonna suppress notifications on you. Looks like we're still venting some gas in here occasionally. Yeah, our filter pipe is kind of backed up again. Yeah, it might be a while before we make enough glass to uh, go build the second monument. So for now, just plant these two here. And now I've realized something else. The uh, carbon dioxide isn't going to end up in here. This is all gonna sink down here instead. Uh, I can seal this in. And then we'll remove this. Plant the other one here. And then we'll extend this ladder. And then the carbon dioxide should all build up in here. Hopefully. Make this a nice plastic ladder. No, we won't. We'll make this a regular ladder for now. And then we'll make this all fresh white to match uh, everything else down here. Uh, but that can be priority one. We 
do, 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 do. So, I have a question. Next week, when I come back from holiday on the 21st, I'm going to do a special stream. I'm going to do a, a run in one. I'm going to do a one day only colony. And I want. I want some interesting ideas for, like, goals to achieve in a single stream on a random start. And at the moment, I think my goal is to get as many Paku as possible. Carnivore? Yeah, actually, that's true. I haven't done an achievement really. We could, we could try Carnivore. I haven't done those in stream yet, but we can try that. I have done Carnivore. Ooh, we got a Shine Dim Bag. Hold on. Where's the Shine Dim I should drop you in here. I've got Shine Dim's in the rest of these rooms. I think the one in here died before laying an egg. So we'll move this egg over right away. And I'll actually remember. Table salt. Nice. Yeah, that is one thing about this run, is we haven't run out of table salt. Also, Mr. Draco, you need to you need to go and get shaved. We need plastic. We got any more Dracos? We, we've got another one over here. That's fine. Also, what can we print? Let's have a look. Uh nutrient bars. I don't really care about this. Here you go. Enjoy your nutrient bar, Mr. Fifth. Who's idle? You're idle, but not really. Sweep that up. Uh, one, one ton of uh, glass over here. Yeah, this is going to be the constraint. Um, do I actually have another wire I could plug into glass? Not over here. We didn't really leave a lot of space for transformers here. Do I have space on one of these lines? I do. I made loads of lines here. Okay, well we can make some glass here and dump it in this water. Maybe. Makes sense. Let's do that. And then we'll send it we'll send the glass over here. So the glass can go in here. And then what we'll do is we'll just make a quick quick and dirty glass forge. Pick that out of ceramic. We don't have any ceramic. Here. Send some ceramic. This is where we make all the ceramic. How much do we actually have over here? We have 46 tons of ceramic. Mostly from this, um, this thing over here. This has worked the whole time, I think. Has it? Waiting delivery filtration medium. Ah, I guess this hasn't been working. I mean, it worked for ages. That's why we've got so much ceramic. I think I need to just fill this with sand again. Yeah. Shine and beg in here, please. I'm gonna yell alert this just so I don't forget. Yay! Arcade machine! Normally I put dedicated lights in here for all these guys, but you've got the Shine Nymphs. You'll be fine. Ooh, we have two eggs. Neat. There's the honey pot. Let's go put that here. Let's 
<laughs> yeah, surf all over then pack you. <laughs> Bubbles look so happy. And we've actually got the carbon dioxide out of this bit, which is nice. So the carbon dioxide should fill up to here. You know what I could actually do? I can make these airflow tiles as well. Only thing is, these eggs are then dropping here and they flop about all over the place. Uh, that's not an issue. We can just open this. Door. There you go. Now, I think you guys have done enough excavation that you're not going to drown yourselves anymore. No, maybe not. Maybe we need to do this as well. But I think I'm going to go get myself another drink. So I'll be back in like... Yeah, hold on. Zoom out. There you go. That's a nice view of the... Uh... The asteroid. Right, I'm gonna go get some more water. I'll be back in a minute. See you soon. No deaths, that's what I like to see. We survived. I wonder what our final cycle will be at the end of the week. Probably, probably over 900. That's what I'm hoping. But yeah, now we've actually got all these morale buildings on. I mean, we haven't got the espresso machine on yet. And you guys still need to actually finish this wire. But uh, if we look at the morale, what's the morale looking like in? Uh, I'm going to keep skilling you up as well. Bart bubbles, you can have prop tending. We have lots of ranches now. I should probably actually use them for something. That would be it, wouldn't it? Uh, I think you're actually done. I think that's fine. Charles Darwin. Hey, Sertor, how you doing? We have hydrated ourselves. Yeah, you've actually done a pretty thorough job of sorting this out. Make sure that this gets insulated as well. Yeah, you've got lots of igneous rock now. That's good. We were making some sedimentary rock tile down here, but that'll be okay. That'll be good enough. What is left for a priority point of view? Also, 
Yeah, this is this is fine. I was just <laughs> I was a bit concerned about the natural gas. Uh, that's not a problem. Thought we'd uh, breach one of these rooms somehow. That is not the case. Right, that's actually... So, you're just finishing off this stuff, which isn't going to take too long. And then you're going to get started on all the dry woods. So yeah, build some more meal ice here. Uh, but yeah, let's make this pinch of peppin' up bit. So I want to get the pinch of peppin' up machine working. We have water. We have heat. I feel like it would be kind of silly not to take advantage of it. So I'm just going to make a liquid lock there. You know, I'm going to make another one here as well. Why am I building these out of igneous rock? I've had a really bad habit of building things out of igneous rock, but I don't need to be made out of igneous rock. Yeah, what we'll do... So, let's research the pinch of pepper. Ah. It's a big game. Stop saving. The pip on that menu looks so happy. Pinch of pepper plant. So, 35 to 85 C. Uh, doesn't mind what the atmosphere is needs a decent amount of air pressure, so carbon dioxide is fine. So what we could do is we could just pump the hot water into a carbon skimmer over here, send the um, loose water in here, and then run the brine into this room to cool it to cool it to below 85. So eventually it's going to get past 85. But we can have this be really hot and delete some more heat from this water that way. So let's make the let's make the thing over here. So let's make an airflow tile here. Then a carbon skimmer. Let's make this out of gold. And then what I'll do is We'll bridge this, and then we'll stick another bridge here, and then if this pipe is full, then water will get sent to the carbon skimmer and go to the pinch peppers. But we want to make sure that it's being electrolyzed first. Then I think what I'll do is I'll just take an insulated pipe straight off here. And I'll just plug that in there. And then that can be insulated going down here. A regular around here. And then... I need to make sure that it doesn't get too cold from the brine over here. So we're definitely heat sealing. So let's pump some salt water in here. Rowan, you are trying your best. Try harder. <laughs> I'm not quite at the stage of locking dupes in the uh, gym, but we're almost there. Also, look how many guys we've got eating now. Pretty cool. We'll put this back. We're actually getting somewhat close to having 30 dupes. You know what? You don't need these ladders here anymore.
But yes, priority eight this. How is neutral Loni's glass situation doing? Yeah, that's still fairly slow. So we were going to set up another glass refinery over here. So let's do that. It'll help make these monuments a bit faster. Yeah, we've got some more ceramic over here now, so that could just go here. Um, I'm not... We should put a light in, shouldn't we? What's the light look like over here? Ceiling mounted. You know what? You could just have a light here. Then this could be a weight plate. Why does the game not let you build weight plates over tiles? That's all you ever want to do. And then that can go here. And then we'll, we'll let this glass just drip out over here and we'll make this a mesh tile. In fact, we'll make this all mesh tile, it's fine. And then this pipe uh, will want to be ceramic. So we'll need to send a little bit more over for that. Uh, oh, right. Um, cancel this. We'll dump it over here. You know, over the monument. Vent can go here. And then power-wise, all I need to do is plug that into this wire here. What I'll do is disconnect this. That wire can come down here. And then that uh, then that can go and go over here. That's fine. You guys can reach all of that. Hey, silly device. Hope you're having a good evening. I am. Uh, we are doing a few things. We're making some more glass so we can make our monuments a bit faster. Because uh, they, they, the heads need a lot of glass. Um, this is Albert Fartstein. We built them yesterday. And we got the Home Sweet Home achievement, so that was nice. Well, when, well we already had the achievement, but we did it on stream for the first time. We're just finishing another one over here, but we need a bit more glass. We're about halfway there on the glass. But yeah, other than that, just denied access to that build. What did I do? Oh, right. They were getting up here by the ladder. Lol. Okay. Uh, you guys can come over here then. That's fine. I did want to put the light here. Yeah, and I might actually make a second one. Can I rotate these? No. Feels bad. But what we're actually doing um, over here is we are... <sighs> so we've done a few things. We have excavated pretty much all of the bottom of the map, so we've got all the resources now. We imported a load more metal, so all of our wires are hooked up now. Um, this should be hooked up. What is going on with this wire? Oh, right. I still need to get this done. <laughs> okay, that's, uh, that's on me. Yeah, you can... Just ladder down here. Finish that, and then we can dig across here and finish this wire. 
And you know what? I'm just going to be impatient and do this now. Yeah, I'm just going to be impatient and do this now. Bet you guys will do this before this. Fastest way is from below. Yeah, I know. I'm going to dig out this material anyways. Yeah, there you go. I'm going to speed one again. You know what? Actually, priority one this. We, we will wait. Not that impatient. Move here. It's funny. Yeah, now go do something else. I have become bored. We've had a lot of suffocating to- Oh my god. What on earth? What on earth? You guys. Right, deconstruct this. That's actually quite funny. I don't think you're gonna die though. There's oxygen up here. Yes, I know you're both suffocating. <laughs> yes, fart in the room and then leave. That's fine. But yeah, we're going to make a little pinch of pepper nut bit over here as well. Let this liquid drain out of here. I put a bit too much salt water in here, but that's okay. But that's a vacuum now. We'll make this a vacuum as well. And this is currently warm enough. This water is going to be coming in a lot warmer. But we're gonna circulate some of this brine in here. Cool it down that way. You haven't sealed yourself again, have you? No, good job. Good job, fart bubbles. Yeah, in other news, we also have our Paku working. Uh, we have we have some new fry eggs up here. Uh, fry a breeding. We have 13 Paku down here. So we're on our way to some surf and turf. Food is... The rate at which we're getting through our barbecue is starting to decrease. But you guys didn't quite finish this in time, so now you're going to yellow alert this. Oh, you're so close. Yeah, maybe I should... Yeah, maybe I should just level this. You know what? We'll see who does it first. Let's ladder here as well. You've had a conflict of interest. Oh, you're idle now. Oh, that's funny. What have you got over here? Uh, you've got some... That granite is going to slip, though. Okay, well, I guess... You know what, never mind. <laughs> Deconstruct that, please. Well, I'll tell you what. Somehow, my room is four degrees colder than it was yesterday. And I don't believe it, I still feel bloody hot. There you go, that's sealed in now, so you can finish this. Right, let's get this all finished. You've done everything else, you're chipping away at the drywall now, which is good. You guys are okay. Right, this is built. Uh, let's make... Let's make glass over here. We'll, we'll just keep it infinite. That's fine. Um, you do need to make the weight plate. 
Also, we need to build the plane. Go there. And then I'm actually going to make another one of these as well. Once we've got the ceramic. I should uh, actually run this police of water past this. Also, this police of water is quite hot. I'm not cooling this properly anymore. Oh, that's a separate cooling loop. Like these haven't been getting fueled. Why not? We are out of hydrogen. Well, that makes sense. So that's why that water is heating up. That's alright, though. Hook this up here as well. Uh, let's see. Lead is, lead is not the best buy for this. Actually, we've got loads of tungsten. Let's just use the tungsten. Why did I even make this? Uh, this will... This will be something else. I don't know why I've decided to drop molten glass over Albert Bartstein's head. It just came to me in a dream. Let's just remove this bit from here. And then I think what makes sense is for... Yeah, let's do this. There. So that can just go like this. Let's go with... Let's go with that. That'll do. Yeah, that way plate can go there. This one can go here. We'll have this lamp... Oh. I was gonna have a lamp here, but that's where the fire pole is. I think that's probably a no-go. Put the lamp here. That's kind of ugly. Also, gonna be dropping. I'm gonna be dropping hot glass directly over the lamp there. Shame. A shame we can't orientate these. Although, <laughs> yeah, actually, that's true. You know what? Actually, let's be silly. I can actually put this down here, can't I? <laughs> it's mildly amusing. Oh, that doesn't do anything. That was just the dupe lighting it up. <laughs> because we had a glow stick dupe there. That's hilarious. Hmm. You know what? We can have this one without a light. I think that's acceptable. You can build this. No. Yeah, we'll just have that one without light now. At the end of the day, if we've got two of these forges running at once, it's gonna be enough glass for what we need. 
And then power wise, that can just hook into a different wire. So I guess what I'll actually do, oh my god, is we'll take this wire, we'll bring it down here. I can't believe, by the way, I actually forward planned enough to have a wire here. That seems very unlikely. And then you can disconnect that. And then... You can act, you can come down here, that's fine. 160 grams of CO2 pressure cooling might be problematic. Yeah, that's true. I mean, the forge itself doesn't generate that much heat. The glass is going to get dropped in this water. So, I'll see how it goes. But yes, you're right. We have been draining this area of gas for a while. Move this. Put some bridges in here. Then I can just go like this. Very stylish. And then all of this could be priority eight. There you go. That should be fine. Forge makes as much heat as refinery. Makes 16 KDT. Yeah, that's a decent amount. We'll see how effective the cooling with the pipe is, but yes, it might have some issues. Right, are you guys done over here? No, you've still yet to build the wire. That's <laughs> the, the very last thing. There you go. Good job. So now your stuff is actually powered. We don't have any pinch of pepper nuts yet. That's fine. This can be set to nine because otherwise they don't deliver the stuff. So now we need to fill this with salt water. There you go. Uh, we need a wire for the carbon skimmer. That's fine. That could be this one. And then food-wise, what I'll do is I'll put the pinch pepper nuts in here. Then we could make an auto sweeper to drop stuff off. Probably worth me making a. Uh... Actually, we're not making fertilizer on this planet, so I don't think I'm going to bother fertilizing this. I think we'll leave this bit open just in case. Got some auto sweepers and that sort of thing. But, uh. Let's see. So then this wire will just come up here. By wire, I mean <laughs> pipe. <laughs> Funny looking wire. Right, that should be enough salt water. Each of these consumes 35 kg per cycle, so that's not a lot. We should be able to run these for a while. A bit annoying that a chlorine blob ended up in here, but it's not actually going to cause any issues. And then what I'll do is be out of brine. What happened to all the brine? Did we seriously heat up all that salt water? Okay. 
guess we must have. That's not good. I think I'm using it to cool this. I mean, we won't need it right away. What I'll do is I'll just actually take this and... Best way for me to do this. Probably just to come around like this. And then bridge it over here. And then just run a little pipe through here. Doesn't need to be radiant, I don't think. Let's actually hook it up here. That's all priority nine. And then we can plant the pinch pepper nuts here. Uh, we can't do... Oh, we can do that. There are pinch peppers here. Excellent. Good job. And then, yeah. Uh, we need... We can't pit the auto sweepers here, so we need to put them on the side. This gives enough room. I knew there was a reason I did this. So... We want to dump us right in here. Unreachable pipe under the water pump. Ah, that's true. Yes. Balls. Balls, balls, balls. If I remove this farm, that should be good enough. Oh yeah, this, this one here. Okay, I'll remove this one for now. And then we'll just build a ladder here. So what I'll need is I'll need to put the auto sweepers here. And then we can put the chute here and the loader here. We'll do that on both sides. I'm actually quite excited we decided to do this tonight. I haven't done a pinch of pepper nut farm in ages. But once this is done, we've hooked up all the other recreational buildings. Morale should be getting quite high now. So, tomorrow, we are going to do a Wednesday stream this week, because I'm very keen to get this run done this week. Um, I'm going to I'm going to move all the other dupes over. We're going to get our 30 dupes here. And we're going to start planning out the nuclear plant. Because that is definitely going to happen this week. So that's all done. So... so this one go here. We'll have shoots here. These can come from the Dreco ranches. nice evening. I do like it when it's summer. I just don't like the intense heat. <laughs> I like the fact that the sun is out for longer. Right, so let's have a think about this. So, Dracos are in here. They're currently dumping... Ooh, that was the wrong button. I'm passing cooling through the farm. Um, I need to set this up to a sensor. I need to set this up to a sensor that'll bypass if it's um, if the temperature in here is above 
basically i just want to because we're putting 95 degree water in here we, yeah we want to cool it to 85 so what i'll need to do is i need to put a thermo sensor in the room <laughs> i'm running out of room for all this shit um i guess i'll remove these we don't need these anymore Should be accurate enough yes you're right what we'll need to do is we'll need to put a, a shut off here to bypass this i guess i'll put that here So I'm probably best off putting the sensor here and the loader here. I only actually need one sensor. So I guess that will go here. No, that will go the other side. Probably remove some stuff from here now, but I'm not even going to bother. Bridge it over. Embrace the spaghetti. So I need to set this up. So let's actually just plug that in. I never actually built a regular pipe here. Let's do that. Oh, right. There you go. So, the phosphorite. So the phosphorite is getting dumped in here. I can put another loader here. And put the phosphorite in that. Yeah, I know the plants in the way. I'm, to be honest. So, right here's what the situation was. So we we planted the wild water weeds here, and in principle, if we keep them covered in water, they'll grow. But specifically because we have farters when they walk over these tiles they fart on them and displace the water occasionally so a lot of these water weeds aren't growing so i'm actually just going to remove this and we're going to put the loader in i'm definitely going to build that again but we're going to do it on a on the new run also we got another wart seed that's nice print that off here and we'll probably eventually want to build that payload launcher here <laughs> it feels so wrong uprooting this oh well um let's put that here and then that can be phosphorite and we actually have some metal now that's good let's make this out of aluminium i can come down here And what I'll do is I'll just run it all the way down here. And then I'll run it here. And that should split it evenly. So these are growing, so that's nice. Uh, we did not set up the, the bypass yet, so let's actually just temporarily... Uh, while we've still got some stuff in here. Just do this for now.
yeah, that polluted water is going to be coming in very hot. Reachable whale rail and <laughs> You knew I was going to do that. Um, I Okay, so here's the funny thing. I actually thought about that, and then I just forgot to do the thing that I thought about, which is this. Like, I literally thought about it and forgot about it by the time I actually got to building it. Feels bad. Um, so then, let's see. We need power in here as well. That's fine. We'll just be powered off. Uh, actually, let us split this. Put a bridge here. And then I think we can just run this off of this one. And then this will be set to pinch of nuts. Actually, this could be set to everything. It doesn't really matter, does it? Um, and then that conveyor will go over here. <laughs> Stop telling me about Dracos. So then that conveyor will go... Oh, uncheck phosphorite. Yeah, that's very true. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, we'll just the other one. Yeah, we don't want dupes wandering in there all the time, so we might as well do this. Wow, that uses up so much metal. Feels bad. See, are you even allowed all the sweepers in these rooms? Do I even want to bother? Oh, they go off, don't they? Oh, I need to. I need to hook this to the freezer. That's what. That's why I should be doing. Yeah. So that should be going to the freezer, which is this one. So I just need to connect it to this line. Or I just need to connect it down here. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, because I always get those notifications about rotting pinch of pepper nuts. So that must be a thing. Right, there we go. That makes me feel slightly less bad about doing this. So these are now growing. These are going to take eight cycles to grow. Uh, I've realized the airflow is not going to be amazing. <laughs> Perhaps I need to move this down here. Should be fine. Now you guys are presumably going to be building this conveyor rail for eons. Also, we got the spiffy overalls here. What happened? Looks like we got four more dupes that need them. Uh, so Ellie, Nails, Rowan, and Leonardo's on another planet. So let's make another two of these. Something is breaking above the skinners. Uh, it's like this wire was overloading. Why is this wire bridge overloading? Tipped up to the transformers. That shouldn't be the case. Oh, hold, hold up! Is this causing an issue? I wouldn't have expected this to cause an issue. Maybe it is.
All right, that should be fine. You guys can get on with building all of this. What is the situation like with the glass forge? Okay, so you're making glass. That's good. The heat is increasing. That's because we haven't hooked this up. So I can just do that. So that should help with all of that. That water should absorb the heat from the glass for ages. Uh, let's set this to glass as well. This is something I want to make at some point. I want to make a sand boiler. Because you only get one quarter of the mass out of glass. Have you seen anyone make a sand boiler? I imagine it's a lot of heat. You did? Oh, cool. I mean, to be fair, the nuclear plant makes a lot of heat. Maybe we make a sand boiler with that, but I don't think we're going to have time. I think we're going to finish the nuclear plant and then plug in something quick. Like, we'll probably plug in a load of wind tunnels, and that's what we'll do. Right, there we go. So that's more glass. And then you can send that back here. Uh, what is currently going through here? Obsidian. Yeah, that's that makes sense. One tungsten volcano powered, one radbot engine powered. Nice. We're definitely not sending glass back here, are we? No, that's good. We're definitely not exporting glass. No. Okay. Uh, so I reckon if we speed this up and we go for another half an hour, then we should be able to finish that monument. So let us, let us speed it up. And you guys could finish all these things here. And then that should all be good. So this, this sensor needs to be set to send green signal if Below. Let's set it to below 80. So if it's below 80 degrees in here, then this will this will bypass this. That's the aim. Rapid one is very slow because I only use two rockets and they fly long routes, so land rarely. Fair enough. It's funny because this room looks so empty for this because these plants grow really deeply down. Uh, I'll tell you what, next run, because it's going to be Rhyme, I'm going to try and do the um, the metal refinery into pinch pepper nuts. And we'll get these going right away. Good job, bro. I believe in you. Also, it looks like this battery is still hooked up here. You need to... Yeah, you need to finish that bridge. This is currently wasting power. Uh, so let's actually... Priority 8 all of this. You melted 60 tons of rust. Yeah, I want to do, I want to do stuff with rust on the next playthrough as well. Because we made this uh, big polluted dirt harvester over here, and that worked pretty well, but we ran out of polluted dirt really quickly. So um, I'd like to make something similar for rust, but I imagine it's probably just going to turn out like the spawn in that we're just going to submerge the <laughs> deodorizer and rearrange the pumps a little bit differently, like have one pump down here for the chlorine and then just have a load of auto sweepers. But that'll be fun to set up. And there's a lot more rust than there is the polluted dirt, so... I imagine that will last for a little while, at least. 
Right, this wire as well. Let us go. This build is fine, you just hook it to a pee water source. Yeah, that's absolutely true. Um, which is kind of what we did. Um, except we don't have a huge amount of polluted water. So we were dumping it in here. Um, but we didn't. We weren't actually generating very much of it. We have got all this polluted water down here. But, I mean, well. Just boiling it instead. The other thing is, we don't have a huge amount of sand here. He you know, you don't source this trash and not reliable. Yeah. What about, what about getting it from space? Is that ever worth doing? Yeah, I haven't done anything with drill planes yet. Yeah, let's speed up again. Ethanol is a good sort. Yes, that's true. I want to do more stuff with ethanol as well. We're going to make a crying crab, and we're going to delete heat that way. Because that limits me. And we're just going to do pips properly, because we haven't really done pips properly on this run. We could do them, but we're not... We're not going to have time to do it before the new run starts. I think once we finish the nuclear plant, that would be the next thing we did on this run. Would be... do the pips. Yeah! Recreation. Shine bugs. You guys actually out come box life. That's funny. Yeah, I guess it's all just falling in here at the moment. I probably want to set up another pump for this. I can just directly hook it up over here. Yeah, maybe I'll just turn this one off. And then this pipe can just come out here. Then what I'll do is I'll just bring it over here. And I'll deconstruct this. Yeah, let's deconstruct this. Why is the automation running this at the moment? It's the gas sensor. Yeah, this is when we were running the wood burner and generating CO2 that way. I guess we just put one down here instead. And power wise, that just plug in here. You already have. You don't have a ladder. Be a pretty good idea to put a ladder here. This can be priority seven. And then we'll get some CO2 for the soda fountains again, because we want to run those. I think we're eventually going to run out of CO2. But, I mean, if we really run out of CO2, I'll just turn on the wood burner again. Can you guys come off break? Yeah, you're all starting to wake up again. This area isn't really going to make any sense. Hmm. 
And then what I'll do as well is... I'll let it vent a little bit. If it, if it fills this, I'll let it vent a little bit down here. Just to get a bit more of a trickle going over to these ones. I don't want too much of a trickle, but just a little bit. And then the rest will go into the rocket and then the rest will go to space. So this is this has become a big spaghetti now, but this should still work. Right, and then this is set to the same as this. Uh, whoops. Whoopsie. This needs to move. Go there. Yeah, just finish all of that. And now, now we actually have some polluted water going to these things. We're going to get some pitch pepper done. But that's going to take a little while. That will use up all the carbon dioxide from over here. And... I imagine it'll take a little while to use all of that up. I mean, this isn't going to be running constantly, because these plants don't actually consume that much. Yeah, that's pretty much done. Uh, this needs to connect onto here. Then this thing needs to A, be plugged in and B, actually pick up the phosphory. Wait a minute. Oh, I've done a goof, haven't I? Yeah, I have. Look, you're not allowed to... You're not allowed to load her in the nature reserve. Oh, boo. I mean, that makes sense. Uh, what a waste. So where are we going to shove that then? Do I need to drop it off in that room? Well, I mean, I don't, but that's where I'm dropping all the eggs and everything else associated with the Dracos. So the meat and stuff gets sorted out into here. Actually, now that I think about it, uh, the meat gets dropped off in here. So we can put a loader here for Phosphorite and send the Phosphorite in here. Yeah, we'll do that. It's a bit longer, but it'll work. So then we'll just put a loader here. Yeah, then that can go like this. That's fine. <laughs> you didn't need to build that wire, unfortunately. So then all we need to do is set this to also pick up phosphorite. Dump it in there. So all the phosphorite will end up in here. And then we can just send this here. Cool, problem solved. Is the pit roaming around still there? No. I could replant the plant. But we've got a plant. I mean, the thing is, I could replant the plant, but look, the dupes of also, I accidentally removed the tile here. That's funny. 
It's still a nature reserve. I need to be more careful about that. <laughs> this was kind of a failed experiment, not in that it didn't work, but in that the dupes kept farting on it and it stopped working. So we're going to rebuild this on our new map. Um, so <laughs> I'm not worrying too much about the plants, but uh, yes, I should have probably not removed that one. Or the wire. You guys are actually idle now. Have you done everything? It's good. So let me actually now hook this up. I think it would have worked with non parties too. What, you think an Excel come upside over it? Yeah, maybe a little ambitious with the water weeds. I mean, maybe you could do it if you had this. I think you could do it if you had it against a wall where no one would be going there. Like you'd have the fire pole in the middle and you'd have the water weeds to the side. I think that's how you do that. Because then no, no one would stand on it. Yeah, I feel pretty confident that this should work. This temperature is going to rise in here a fair bit. Only thing is, the coolant is actually pretty hot. So it's getting dumped out pretty quickly. I guess we have just cooled down this whole bit over here. <laughs> what coolant? Um, well, I mean, I know you're, I know you're this coolant. But yes, the pipe was not very full. So we've been cooling down this whole bit here. I should probably, if we're actually going to rely on that, I should probably insulate this one that's about to go dormant. Ah, yes, next dormant seat. Zero seconds, great. <laughs> yes, I was hoping we'd have a bit of a reserve here, but I think the cooling capacity of the liquid has been actually actively used. I mean, if I really wanted to, like, this water is... This water is about the right temperature. We could just circulate this through here. Well, we'll see. I would like to see you guys use this, but you're probably not going to use this today. I might actually wrap it up in a minute, just because I, uh, I desperately need to get to bed early, because I've got a lot to do tomorrow morning. We got some more eggs. I'd say they're on the Paku. I want, I want the Paku in a thumbnail. <laughs> Here's Bubbles. Here's Bubbles surfing on the, uh, surfing on the thing. Actually, let, let's let's put it to a poll. What do you guys want the thumbnail to be? Do you want the thumbnail to be? Uh, let me see. New poll. Thumbnail. Um, Aku. Aku room. Or Pincher Pepper room. There you go. Have a poll. How do I replenish the tank? Uh, let's not feed this mutants. Um, we, what we do is, we have the conveyor with the eggs that goes in here. Um, if there's not a guy, if there's not a packer or an egg in here, it will drop the egg off in here. If there is, it will drop it up here. 
So this bit will always have a fish in it. And if this guy dies, the fish will swim out of here and eat the food because he's hungry. And then and then that fish will get replaced. So I think it's technically possible for it to fail if both fish die at the same time. But because the Pakus lay eggs so often, I haven't seen it happen. And then we have dumped the fish in the extra fish into this one tile because we're being mean and we want to save frames. So yeah, your options are Haku Room or Pinch Pepper Nut Room. Which I guess will be uh Oh, I fit this in. So, so what I do when I do my thumbnails is all the text and stuff is over here and around here. So I so I try and line it up with my UI. So try and line up with the UI and then I know that all the stuff in this column is going to be visible. So, uh, yeah. So there we go. Charles Darwin feeding some plants. I mean, you shouldn't be doing that. You should be uh, letting the auto sweepers handle it, but I think we need to have a look at that. Right, so this needs to be phosphorite. Yeah, there you go. Now you can fill this with phosphorite, and then that should end up going through here. should be just fine. Neat. And then, over here, we finally have enough glass to finish this off. So let's finish off the monument at the end of the stream. Because we, we built the other one on the other planet already, but we may as well build this one too. And then we can customize it. The monument does not get to be an option because we... Uh, we had the cutscene as a thumbnail yesterday. Right, I need you guys to build this. Who's... No, not the puff. Yeah, Wind and Archie's on it. Yeah, have a good fart. Also, our frames have turned really bad. I imagine that's just because my computer's really hot. Puffed in the wild, did the farm break? Uh, I think this room occasionally lets them out, but, um, <laughs> yeah, this, this, <laughs> I think they're getting occasionally let out by the, uh, the drowner. I don't think this is closing properly. I think it's mostly working. Also, puffs are cute, and they deserve to be, uh, roaming around. Also, you guys need to redeem a puff moment, because this guy down here is getting lonely. I mean, to be honest, this doesn't really need to actually open and close, does it? Like, we can leave this closed. And that it would drown them just as well, wouldn't it? The only issue, the only issue then is that you wouldn't be able to grab the stuff. I'm fine with them getting let out every now and then. We do have diamond here, you just need to deliver it. Could make that a normal door? True. Wait, no, because a normal door wouldn't wouldn't close the liquid up like this. Or does the liquid not need to be closed? Will they drown in a little puddle? Oh wow, that's a bit of a, a bit of a sad death noise. Tiny amount of door tiles. Oh, I see. So you just fill it up to the two tile bit and just put a normal door here. Yeah, we could do that. But I kind of like the base filling up slowly with puffs, anyways. <laughs> After all the effort we put in, let the, let the free range puffs do. Let the free range puffs do their thing. 
Not helping. I don't know how. We've still ended up with some Sweetles down here as well. I'm not really sure how that's ended up happening. Helping but not with frames. Oh, that's true. They've all ended up in here. This is the secret. This is the secret puff tied out. Right, let's speed up. I want to see you guys finish this. We're just going to do this far for the scrum. That makes sense. They laid eggs there. Yeah. I think the. The lag is because of the heat in my room and not necessarily, not necessarily things being particularly laggy. You guys are gonna have fun trying to hunt this guy. He's gonna move slightly to the left. Yeah, there you go. Then you're gonna go run around that way as well. Yeah, there you go, you got him. Probably Paku too. Yeah, this is why I, I put off the Paku for so long. Because I knew uh, the Paku were going to start draining frames. But in fairness, I'm putting them all in the one tile. And uh, we want Surf and Turf for the morale. So... That's why I'm doing that. Uh, oh, glass! That's what we want. I'm going to print that off here. We're not going to export it over. This is where we're building the next monument. This is the planet where I put the pod in the sensible place, and we've hardly used it. Can you deliver more than 80 kilograms of diamond at a time? I'm going to yellow alert this. I feel like this is a bit of a fool's errand. <laughs> I need to, uh... Oh, you're dead. Ending attack. Yeah, there you go. Get zapped. Get zapped, fool. Eat the food. It's up to Julie Pixels and Bigger G to deliver the diamond, apparently. Am I planning to not abuse alerts in the next run? <laughs> hmm. No comment. Yeah, here you guys. Here you guys come. The ranching duo. I feel like I've not been too bad this run. I've been getting a little bit lazy towards the end. I think there's definitely runs where I've done more yellow alerting. You need 100 kilograms more. So presumably that is uh, one guy's delivery. You're going out there. Let's watch you do this. Looks like someone just dropped the diamond. Alrighty. Well, there was one vote in the poll. Uh, so we're going to make the thumbnail the packy. Your bladder's almost full. It's a race against time. There you go. Someone else can build it. Prime the 10th. Yeah, you guys are all going to race to build it. 
You just to like actually bring the stuff over. Yeah, prime the tent. Go for it, my man. Yeah, the monument would be a good thumbnail as well, but we, we did monuments yesterday. Ta -da. Right, so. I already know what I'm doing here. So this is the thing, we've got beaters and sweetles on one, and we've got plug slugs and grub grubs on the other. I think it makes sense to put the grub grub here. And then the head... B. <laughs> there we go. That's the monument for this planet. Alrighty, good stuff. And, as a bonus, the dupes will actually see this monument regularly. So they'll get some extra decor from it, I guess. Not that I've worried too much about that here. You know what? You guys deserve nice things. You can have some drywall go down here as well. There you go. Not like you guys are too much better to do over here. Looks like something out of adventure time. A little! It looks. It definitely looks like something. Also, I never drive all these rooms. Am I gonna bother doing that? Yes. Yes, I am. But I'm gonna do that another time because I need to figure out what I want to color it. Alrighty. On that note, I'm gonna wrap it up. It's been fun. It's been fun, and uh, we're making progress. We have a lot of morale sources on a Tommy L, and all the power is hooked up now. So, pretty sure tomorrow we're just going to move over another 13 dupes, and then we're actually going to start the nuclear plant. So that should be fun, and we'll see what problems we run into with that. So yeah, let me uh, close it out. Wow, OBS didn't crash today. <laughs> nice. Yes, thanks very much for watching. It's been it's been nice hanging out with you guys as usual, doing some Oni. We are wrapping up Flip Farters. Um, the YouTube playlist is available here. Uh, it's about 50 streams worth of content in there. And there's many other runs uh, of Oxygen Not Included and other games as well. And you're just my lamp. Um... <laughs> But uh, yeah, there's also the Discord group where we hang out and we post oxygen, not included, related memes and discussion and stuff. And I usually stream uh, weekdays, 7.30 to 10.30 British time, currently daylight savings. Um, I don't normally stream on Wednesdays, but I am going to stream tomorrow because I'm very eager to get um, the nuclear plant built and get uh, Flip Farters finished uh, this week before I go on holiday. And when we come back from holiday, we will start, we'll do a new challenge, first of all, and then we'll start a new Oni run. And we'll go back to, we'll go back to Dice's Spit program as well. Because I was enjoying that, but I feel like we reached a good sort of halfway point with that game, so that's why I stopped doing that for a little bit. But we will be resuming that save in a matter of weeks. So uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out. Um, am I going to raid anyone tonight? Let's see. No, I don't think I'm going to rain on tonight. I'm just going to go. But enjoy your evening, and I'll be back tomorrow. Oh, and <laughs> my laptop screen has been hanging out on the camera the whole time. Nice. Oh, well. Anyways, bye for now. I'll see you soon.